All right, so this one is Suds. And the question is root 18 plus root 2 squared over root 8 minus 2, right? Okay, so you want to tackle this in two stages. First one, square the top. All right? So, you know, you can turn this into 3 root 2. Like that. Yeah? Yeah. That makes life a lot easier because you don't want to be squaring 18s and all that sort of thing. Okay? Yeah. I think that's a little easier to handle. And then you've got that on the bottom still. All right. So square that one. 3 times root 2 squared is 3 squared times root 2 squared. Root 2 squared is 2. And then times the 3 squared, just back to 18. Yeah? And at the end, you're going to have the root 2 squared. All right? So that's just 2. In the middle... You're going to have root 2 times root 2 times 3, which is 2 times 3, that's 6. And you're going to have two of those, aren't you? Okay. Yep. So, plus 12. Okay. So that comes out to be just all one number. The bottom stays as it is for the moment. We haven't got there yet. And so that is simply 32 over root 8 minus 2. The next thing to do is to rationalize the denominator, right? Because we can't have uh, roots and thirds in the denominator, okay? Do you remember what to do with that? Just times root 8 minus 3 on, the, on top and bottom. No, plus. What you need to do to rationalize a denominator like this, where it's got two parts to it, it's to multiply top and bottom by the same two numbers, but the opposite sign in the middle. If you want the technical name for it, it's called the conjugate. Okay? That is known as the conjugate. So it means exactly the same two numbers but multiplying it with a different sign. So instead of a minus, it's a plus. Okay? Yeah. All right, when you do that, what you're going to get is effectively, do you remember the rule about a difference of two squares? A plus B times A minus B equals A squared minus B squared. Yeah. All right? That's why we multiply it by different signs. Okay? So what that yep. does is effectively gives you root 8 squared minus 2 squared. All right? Mm -hmm. So that effectively is 32. Yeah. 32 over 8 minus 4 is 4 equals 8. All right? Now, in your question, it's saying it wants it in the form A brackets B plus root 2. Yeah. All right. Oh, my apologies. I've misread a part of the question. We then have this bit here. There. All right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I forgot that bit for an instant. <clears throat> so, what do we do with this? Is effectively, you've got 32 root 8 plus 64 divided by 4. All right? Which was this thing. So, tidy that up. 8 root 8 plus 16, okay? And then you can factorize 
the eight out. All right, so that's root eight plus two. All right, and what's the last bit you want to do here? So the root eight can be turned into two root two. Okay. All right, so there's a extra bit of factorization, two root two plus two. So that two can come out, 16 root two plus one. Does that all make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah? That's your final answer. The key bits to remember from that, right, is make sure you're multiplying things out carefully there, right? Yeah. The second part is this conjugate bit. That's the most important bit here, right? Mm. Oh, hang on. And that bit. It's got to be the opposite sign. Okay? Yeah. And don't yeah. do what I did. I forgot that one to begin with. So yeah. make sure you don't miss out any bits. And this bit, this is a rule that's being used here. Okay? Any questions on that? Uh, no. No? All right, cool. Um, I'll send you that in a bit. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, no problem.